In the last episode, we had a magical trip to Scorpion Bay. If you missed it and you want to check it out, click on the link on screen. And in this episode, we're exploring one of the most remote areas of the Baja Peninsula. This is it, pretty much the main street in our Scorpion Bay. Uh, we just picked up some fuel uh, straight out of the can, you know, nothing fancy here. And we're heading to... So it's about a two day trip for us. It'll be a two day drive uh, with a stop in between. We won't be driving at night. I'm not sure where we're going to stop yet. We ha really haven't had much internet, so we haven't been able to secure a, uh, a town where we want to stop and provision. But once we get into some reception, we'll sort it out. When we reached the base of the nipple, things started to get a little bit strange. So we've got kind of lost. Uh, we've been following what we thought was the federal one uh, and we've gone through this crazy little ghost town and then it just turned into a dirt road. We found a, a police officer in town and he told us to go like 20 kilometers back in the other direction to get back onto the highway and we started heading back out of town and, and looked at the maps and we were still on the highway. So we're not really sure uh, what's going on here. We don't know if the cop's trying to give us a bum steer. There's a funny little vibe in this ghost town. We don't feel like we're really, we're really liked here or <laughs> they want us around. So we're, um, we're just gonna have another crack at getting out the other end of town on the dirt road because it's the only one that makes sense heading in the right direction. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed we can get out of here. So really got no idea what to expect next. Um, this here behind me, this here, is uh, Federal Highway 1. Uh, we just passed through the ghost town and kept driving. And the kind of Google Maps says we're on Federal Highway 1, so we're, we've just got to assume that we are. But it's just such a crazy, crazy place where this has all kind of transpired. It's that amazing here. Courtney just wanted to stop and run off and take some photos. It's really, really pretty. To get us up when we're low. Oh, even if I lose my ground, I won't let it hold me down. After a quick explore of the hidden oasis, we tried our luck again on Federal Highway 1. What way, Jay boy? All right, scissors, paper, rock. If I win, we go left. If you win, we go right. Are you ready? Steady. Yep, I win, we're gonna go left. For the most part, the road turned out to be a pretty good one. We make our way. However, for around 20 miles or so, there was some pretty rough terrain. And there was also a section of the mountain range where there was a super narrow road on the edge of a cliff. It was a fun day spent off road, but we couldn't wait to get back onto the school stuff. After a two hour detour to replace our second busted air compressor and a little line dancing, we found ourselves a pretty sketchy camp spot. Alright, this was our camp spot for the night. Uh, it's basically between the highway and the beach. Uh, we're heading north and we just found somewhere we could tuck away and get some sleep before we, we head north again today. And uh, we had a knock on the van for the first time and uh, 
That's a bit sketchy, eh? <laughs> Courtney and I, we were inside and we heard a car pull up and, it, and there's, there's nothing else around, so we knew something must have been up. So we've heard a car pull up and uh, Courtney shit herself and I was a bit worried myself, to be honest. And uh, yeah, we opened up and it was the police. There was two cops there. And they ended up being super cool. They just wanted to have a chat and see that we were okay. Uh, make sure we weren't broke down or anything like that. So it ended up being all good. But <laughs> when, you, when you open up the van door and there's a couple of cops there and you're somewhere really remote, right there. <laughs> me testy shrunk right up and I think they might have even slipped back inside me for a bit. <laughs> After a quick brekkie and a cafe grande, we're back on the road heading north. The plan was to be off road for around five days, so I reduced the pressure in the tyres. The vehicle isn't four wheel drive, so I don't take it on the beach. However, if I drop the pressure from 60 down to 40 PSI, I get better traction and a smoother ride when I'm in rough terrain. It's starting to get a bit exciting now. We've just finished up on the paved road. We've just gone onto the first dirt track of this little adventure. Uh, so I've knocked a bit of air out of the tyres and yeah, we're about to get stuck into it. It's pretty exciting. Can't wait to uh, go exploring. It was time to start scouring the coastline to find the ideal spot to set up camp. We were still on the hunt for the ideal location, but it started getting dark, so we found a spot for the night. That pineapple going up in flames. Gee whiz, I didn't know pineapples burnt like that. that Bloody is. marvellous that is. So I don't really know what to do. I'm so excited to be going to our next spot um, we're just in the most beautiful part of Baja, Mexico, and we've got so much cool shit to explore. And I really want to get on the road and start finding some more cool stuff. But right now, I'm standing here on the beach and I've got my feet in the water, and the water is bloody beautiful. It's so clear, and it's actually pretty warm for the area. And life's just pretty bloody good. Have a look around me. It is just dead set sensational here. Courtney's collecting, I don't know what she's collecting. They're dollar bills for, uh, for King Neptune, something like that. Uh, she, they seem to be of great value. She's got a whole bag full of them. I don't know what they are. I don't know how she's gonna find King Neptune, but I'm really hoping she's gonna get some great cash back or maybe she'll uh, be able to trade them in for some good swell for me. Uh, but let's just see how she goes. Actually, here she comes. What have you got there? This is an alive one. Swing around here so I can see your beautiful face. No, just turn around so you've got a bit of sun on you. There we go. Look at those Look at those beautiful squinty eyes. What have you got there? Money. What is it? Ocean money. Ocean money. What do you do with it? Take it to King Neptune. Who's King Neptune? The man in the ocean. Yeah, okay. And what do you get, for you? What do you get when you give it to King Neptune? He looks after you when you're in your boat. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Save up your King Neptune dollars, find King Neptune, give them to him, and he will make sure that you're safe in your boat. I don't know if anyone that watches this knows anything about gold. I know my mum and dad don't, and they're probably the only two people that are ever going to watch these videos that I make. But this dead set looks like gold. And I know that sounds pretty weird and a big claim, but there's these tiny little flecks in the sand here that just are shimmering like gold and I've never seen it before. I've been to a few beaches in my time. I've never seen anything quite like this. I'll try and get a few shots of it and hopefully it'll transfer across in the video. I don't know whether it will or not. Uh, it might just be something that the naked eye seems to pick up. But uh, it's pretty crazy. Have a look at this. See, we might be somewhere lovely, but life isn't always ideal. Because this one here, she's grumpy today. What are you grumpy for? 
see mate, she's just grumpy. And this is what I have to deal with. You know, I'm in this beautiful place. Look at this location. It's absolutely spectacular here. There's no one around, sun shining. There's Don't not a cloud in the sky. Even. And look at this mate, Don't I've got this even. fucking, you, you I've got this one. You had the grumpiest day yesterday. <laughs> you were the biggest grump. <laughs> you were not allowed to do that. You were so painful. Seat. And the day before? No, it wasn't the day before as well. It was one day. It was yesterday because my expectations were out of whack. I had a bit of a rant about. Hey, no, it was the day before. Don't, don't as be well. making, don't be making it bottle noises. It was the noises. day before as well. After the day after cheat no, day, wasn't. and that means he's not allowed to cheat anymore because he was such a punish the next day. He was torture. And Can then you yesterday, this? yesterday he spat the dummy out as well because he Can didn't get to where this? he wanted to be. Can you even believe this? Can you even believe this? Trying to make this? me sleep on the side of the main road where I'm like bait for like rape and murder and then I told him no we have to keep going and then he had a bigger tantrum so I'm allowed a grumpy day today because you oh. had two. Is anyone else's ears hurting? Mine are dead set. Really, I'm gonna have to go to, we, we've got to go to a pharmacy, I've got to get something for my ears, especially that right one. There seems to be something wrong with it. Too big. <laughs> See, life isn't always peachy but you just got to try and push on and have a bit of a laugh. Always makes it a little bit easier when she's not wearing pants and you can see a bum because a bum is pretty good. Other than that, just got to roll with the punches. Thanks again for watching guys. We really hope you're enjoying the series. If you enjoyed this movie, please give us a like, send us a message in the comments and if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The old van leaving to go to another campsite trick, eh? Ha ha ha. <laughs> and tune into the next episode because the adventure continues.